Hello, folks. My name is Neeraj Nagrani. I'm a VP of Engineering at Google. My teams are responsible for building and operating developer tools and infrastructure for our internal developers, external enterprise developers, and open source community like yourself. With BaselCon 2020 now complete, I wanted to spend some time wrapping the event, sharing some highlights, and talking about a broader developer tooling vision First of all, I want to thank you all to the presenters, the speakers, moderators, attendees, organizers, and the Basel team for such a great event. The two-day virtual conference brought together the Basel community, the build ecosystem for our knowledge sharing, networking, and collaboration with over 1,300 attendees, presentations by Googlers, as well as talks from build thought leaders from Twitter, Dropbox, Uber, Pinterest, Grab Taxi, and others, BaselCon 2020 was an event like no other for build tooling. Many attendees enjoyed the keynote announcements, the migration stories at Twitter, Pinterest, and CarGurus, as well as the technical deep dives on Basel persistent workers, incompatible target skipping, and migrating from Gradle to Basel. What stood out to me from our first virtual BaselCon was that even though we were on different continents, it felt like we were all in the same room. This was a good collaborative, respectful community energy with folks who are passionate about Basel and how it helps them and their organizations. The work on incompatible target skipping was a great example for successful collaboration between external contributors like yourself and Googlers and deserves to be highlighted. I heard in the Slack discussions, I am so excited by incompatible target skipping getting over the line. We are seeing the emergence and convergence of advanced CI workflows outside of Google as companies scale beyond build Bazel. It's exciting to see this level of commitment from Bazel community to the parts of Bazel that make the scaling possible. Another thing that stood out to me was the enthusiasm of external dependencies work, as well as Bazel's long-term support releases. Thank you for validating these initiatives and that matters to you, and that we are heading in the right direction for both Google and the community. Lastly, thank you for the feedback where we haven't met your expectations regarding managing PRs and GitHub issues. We are actively working on streaming the process of managing incoming issues and PRs, triaging our backlog and updating our roadmaps. We are also wanting to be more transparent about areas where we are prepared to handle PRs, for example, categorizing them as welcome PRs. We should talk first or sorry, no. We will be crafting and sharing a process for better interaction in these areas in the coming quarter or two. I'm especially excited about the arrangements of Android platform migrating to Bazel. Google's investment in building Android signals, increasing support for Bazel and the community. I was encouraged by the great reaction since it is a significant multi-year, multi-quarter effort that will have a great impact on both the Android platform, Android partners, and the Bazel community. I saw comments on Twitter such as, this is huge. This is really good for the ecosystem. Awesome to see this happening. Finally, I have been wanting this since I moved over to a team developing an Android OS. So many features I'm excited to test out. Android is experienced by end users, mostly through our partners. Consequently, benefits to our partners being productive are benefits to our mutual end users receiving the best experience of Android that they could. This migration in definitive benefits for Android platform developers and partners, including significantly improving build speeds, enabling hermetic builds, and lowering costs to building Android AOSP, which leads to happier developers, greater productivity, and efficiency. Now, I want to refer back to the Bazel vision mentioned in the opening keynote. Any software developer can efficiently build, test, and package any project of any size or complexity with tooling that's easy to adopt and extend. But what is our vision beyond building projects? 
And what are our development principles? Google, like other organizations, has encountered many challenges as growth of the code base outstrips the ability of a developer tools to keep up. There are too many repositories with too many dependencies on many different versions of libraries. A proliferation of programming languages used to build applications and systems. A need for fast, correct, and hermetic builds enabling rapid iterative development. The ability to secure our systems from unauthorized and unknown code changes. Certify all changes to source code as it moves through the software development lifecycle. This is why we always build from source. The requirement to provide seamless code sync, fast builds, scalable code reviews, and comprehensive code search, and meaningful build and test results for tens of thousands of developers across the globe. We are keeping Android AOSP an important priority as we build a more integrated development experience to support the Android platform ecosystem built upon the Bazel platform. This includes creating a great all-round Android platform development experience based on a loosely coupled but well-integrated build, source, and workflow systems that can be used together on a well-lit path for developers and where the tools can be leveraged separately to support an existing workflow. We plan on investing substantially more in supporting AOSP development, such that through Bazel as a platform, Android platform developers are able to easily share, build, and test results with other developers to speed problem diagnosis farm out hundreds to thousands of tests to run into parallel to quickly vet code changes. Selectively run tests that are impacted by spe specific code changes during continuous integration. Develop from a cloud-based IDE that builds through a hosted Bazel built environment. We are focused on making Bazel a great platform and a great experience for rules owners and developers. This means being very clear about what Google will provide and where we need your help. What Google will provide a great out-of-box experience for the core build systems and selected programming models and execution platforms. Extensibility via Starlark, the build API, and abstractions such as platforms, tool chains, and aspects. Support for services via open APIs, such as remote execution and the build event protocol. Productivity tools such as Buildozer and Execution Profiling. Stable, supported releases every nine months. Community support and coordination, example for rule interoperability. There are a number of efforts that Google will look to the community to help and partner with in the future. For example, add rule support for languages and platform not supported by Google. Implement tools to support migration to Bazel from other build and test systems. Develop Bazel integrated cloud services for remote execution, CI, build results, provide consulting and enterprise services via Bazel experts. Google is committed to open source for the long term. Google depends critically on open source software. We use it to build our systems. We develop it for others to extend. We need great open source tools to support building and testing both the software we use internally and the software we develop, which is why we are committed to Bazel and the community like yourself. We look forward to partnering more deeply with this community to create optimized journeys that ensure great velocity, productivity, and happiness for the Bazel developer community and ecosystem. Thank you everyone and see you at BazelCon 2021.